volley that was, eh? He's, he... What a volzo, mate. <laughs> oh, really thinks look. Ah, Fucking rocket. Celebration, mate. I'd have caught it a chuzzle wuzzle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucked off it into the net. <laughs> Sorry about that, Australia. Ah, <laughs> oh, rubber stop at it. <laughs> they get a good account of themselves. Oh, you've done yourself a mischief. <laughs> <laughs> net. <laughs> I know, but I just think, come on, how how much football do you need to watch to not get it? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, I mean, they probably had their banners over their eyes. They probably didn't see it. Yeah. Oh, did you see one guy had a banner up? Just said, "Spend, spend, spend." There were, there were some horrific banners over the weekend. The Chelsea yeah. fans. It was like Marini home. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was poor. That, that, like the, grown men. Like it was a man yeah. who made like a montage of like front pages going, uh, Marino has yeah. come home and yeah. all little pictures and stuff. Like, can you imagine if you walked in the room and your dad was like had the print sticker? Yeah. Going, Mom, where's dad? He's in the spare room. All right, I just go and say, What are you doing? What is happening here? You're 53. But dad. he's coming home, son. Yeah. <laughs> oh, save your Chelsea, Chelsea. Oh, Ugh, more of that. More of that in the correspondence section later on. <laughs> Stay tuned, football <laughs> fans. Right as well. Yeah. Um, did you see what Gordon Strachan said after the game? Because I think the Scots perhaps took the game a little bit more seriously than England. You could argue. Yeah, I um, go with that. I mean, to, well, to, to suggest that is uh, what, looking at what Strachan said after is right now it is just disappointment. This could have been a result we were all talking about in forty years' time. I think that's <laughs> a dig at England in the World Cup, isn't it? As well, is that right? I think it might be. Yeah, yeah it could be. It could be. I did find it funny. Um, Kevin Bridges, yeah, fan of the show, Kevin Bridges. Uh, apparently, he's a bit strong. <laughs> he, well, that's that's the inside. Track. He once ignored Marcus, who asked him out for a beer. Well, once. Yeah. not quite true. He stood me up. Okay, okay, it's all right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I went to see him at Hammersmith Apollo. Yeah, it's quite close to where I live. Actually, he could have come back, had a cup of tea. We could have been friends, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> could have had a cup full of beans with <laughs> a uh, yeah. sausage, <laughs> sausages of fuck, like a savoury ninety nine. Yeah, Alan Partridge. Um, he uh, he tweeted. Uh, Kevin Bridges tweeted tonight. I felt England wanted it more. Do it in his accent. If you're going to do a Scottish person, do a Scottish accent. And you're the only one person. Than can do a Scottish accent. Yeah. Tonight I felt England wanted it more. <laughs> you could see what it meant to their fans and players. They always put up their game against Scotland. That that tweet, obviously he's being sarcastic, yeah. made the Scottish sun. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. What was the reply? You... A reply that I plucked from this was from a chap who shall remain nameless. No, um, name him because I've got another tweet from the guy. <laughs> have you actually? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's a guy at Paul underscore slide away 14H. Paul four? Shields. Mm. Paul Shields, yeah. Uh, sorry, 14H was the uh, the time it was said. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Modern technology. Paul Slideaway. Uh, Paul s- underscore Slideaway. He said, uh, <laughs> Shut your bridges, you faggot. England's a bottomless pish can be the ass. <laughs> Didn't spell faggot right. No, Didn't faggot. You know. You're going to be homophobic. Do it properly. OK, yeah. So yeah. Uh, they were pretty angry about well, that. He, he did, uh, it did, didn't really compare to the tweet he sent a few days before. Oh, yeah? Because I went down his tweets. He's <laughs> a fascinating gentleman. <laughs> yeah. Lot on, uh, lots, lots of hobbies. Yeah, uh, yeah, it seems yeah. to be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one, in, one in particular. Uh, got a right urine infection coming on. It was all right till I went for a wank. Hashtag heartbreak. <laughs> I think that's the first wank yourself ill tweet. <laughs> An ear infection of from the that. season. Yeah. Of the season. An ear infection from that. Mm-hmm. Blimey. Um, what else have we got to A finish? urine infection. Not an ear infection. I thought you said an ear infection. I just it was your accent. It was just spotless. <laughs> it was spotless. It was a poor accent, actually. That's fine. Not to worry. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, what else happened uh, recently? What else? Um, there's something going on. Oh, Nigeria! There's been some spectacular match fixing in Nigeria. Is this going to be another example of late match? If you're going to fix matches, do it early. Let I me said do it, it early. I said it last oh, yeah. season. If you're going to fix yep. a match, I'm not with you. But <laughs> if I was going to do it, yeah. I wouldn't do this. Let me set the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Elizabeth, this is the most important thing that's on the running order. Uh, two teams, Plateau United feeders. Good. Yeah. Good name. Are they really going to sort Plateau? This sort of <laughs> consistent, at least. And Police Machine. Police Machine is a great name for a team. <laughs> You'd expect it? them to be a little bit more honest, perhaps. <laughs> um, they were going for promotion to Nigeria's lowest professional league. I think it's League Three. And this is decided in an amateur tournament, of course. Both sides had identical results going into their last matches. They both won their opening games 2 0. They drew 0 0 with each other. This meant it would be a case of which team could score the most goals in their final match. Mm. Police Machine. 
that, I mean, they set the bar high. They won their game 67 <laughs> nil. <laughs> Oh, police just, machine. Sorry, can I have a quick word? It's probably nothing. It's probably nothing, but just in the interest of good practice, can I have a quick word? Just over there for a second. Yeah? That's what I'd be saying. Oi. Yeah. But it was Who got your goals? It wasn't enough. Hang yeah. on, hang on, police machine. <laughs> As the goals go in, bam, bam, Ow. bam. It wasn't enough because feeders stuffed 79 past their yeah. opponents with no reply. 67 nil and 79 nil. Suspicions were aroused. <laughs> <laughs> the political credit has gone mad. Can you imagine winning 67 nil and being beaten on goal difference? <laughs> 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 it's glorious. Don't leave it late Oi. in the season. But let me dissect it a I little can, bit I more. I can imagine them winning 67 nil and say, do you want to wait around for their game? No point. Let's <laughs> go to the pub. Straight to the pub. <laughs> After a few beers. They've done what? They've done what? <laughs> oh, no. Well, apparently feeders were only, only, 7 nil up at half-time. <laughs> 72 of the goals came in the second half. <laughs> <laughs> that is almost to a minute. Police machine was 6 0 up at half time and scored a more modest um, 61 in the second half. But I love that. They must have been in contact. They're 7 0 up. They're 6 0 up. We both know what's going on here. Right. Are the games playing at the same time? <laughs> must have been. Oh, that's quality. That's even better. <laughs> the Nigerian Football Federation. <laughs> Sounds like I couldn't do that by myself on a pitch. <laughs> Sounds exhausting. You, you couldn't even do it. On like I couldn't run from game. the, from the centre circle I like... to the goal. I couldn't do that <laughs> that Pete, many times. What, what it's like... a goal every 40 seconds. What I so. think is the funniest about this is, in your head, think of what the other team are doing <laughs> while this is happening. <laughs> they must literally just be standing there. That Would that not be the longest 45 minutes of your life? My family have turned up. They're watching. <laughs> Go on, Luke. Are you got Shut up. Guys, go guys. on, Dad. <laughs> go on, Dad. Shall I go get your meat pie? Yeah, I'll get a meat pie. Oh, I'm so proud of you today, son. Thanks. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, the Nigerian Football Federation called it a mind-boggling show of shame. <laughs> The 65th goes in one set of goes to the other. That's your man. That's not my fault. That's your man. Um, <laughs> Nigerian Football Federation Vice President Mike Ume said it was embarrassing that in one of those games a player scored 11 times, while in the other four goals were scored within a minute and a player scored three own goals. <laughs> Tahiti are, going, Tahiti are going, what? What's the problem? Oh, dear. <laughs> they're, all, they're all banned. They're all banned. Banned. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you dear, oh, dear. Well, I think that's hasty. At least they have an investigation. Pro- you need more proof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. And we're going to finish uh, the, uh, the main of the show. Damn it all. Food for thought. Sobering. Yeah. Luke, what have you got? Um, correspondence. I did a question of the week again. Um, in light of Jack Wilshire insisting that he doesn't smoke, despite being caught red-handed, what's the best or worst, I suppose, lie you've told to your parents? Um, yeah, I've got a few here. This is off with, from Greg, Greg Newman. This is my personal favourite. He says, I convinced my nan that Goldeneye on the Nintendo 64 was actually the film and managed to get three hours of it in while she moaned <laughs> that it was a load of crap. <laughs> That's excellent, Greg. Well done. I tell you what, I'm not, I wasn't in a good mood, but that, yeah. that sorted me out, to be honest. None of those yeah. are football related, and no. that's the way we like it. Oh, I've good. got another one. One more. One more for the road? It might yeah. be libelous, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, Joe on the Twitter. I told my mum that <laughs> touched me at Pontes in 1993 to get out of the swing ball tournament. God, that's escalated. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, well, horrible. I'll leave that one with you, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to do any editing this week, but... <laughs> you can just bleep up the name if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my giddy yeah. Well, Germany beat England four. Didn't yeah. they? Yeah, last that's true, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's no disgrace. Uh, an odd story that came out of Germany recently was the news that Lothar Matthias um, had to come out and tell people he was still alive. <laughs> Strange oh. one. World Cup winner... Um, apparently the authorities tried to contact him regarding uh, alimony uh, to his ex-wife uh, but failed so uh, a stamp on a court letter had uh, labelled Matthias What, you can't get hold of him so he's labelled dead? Yeah How that, That's a, a huge assumption It's massively un- uncharacteristic Can you ring Matthias? Can, yeah. can you ring Matthias? Yeah. Yeah. yeah He's not picked up he always, he always picks up He's dead Oh god he's <laughs> dead Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not even answer phone. I find it sad that Lothar Matthias's life, personal life, is open to such sort of uh, criticism and sort of voyeurism because he's got 150 caps for Germany. Outrageous. And it's not even like he's... Outrageous. Some, when you hear someone's got 150 international caps, it's normally some sort of talismanic player for yeah. like a, a, not a bit of a backwater nation. Yep. Mm. Germany and West Germany. Yeah. 150 Incredible. caps. It, in like an era where they won the World Cup and were in two World Cup finals before that. Yeah. Know, and it, it, when they were as good as they've been. Yeah. 
Incredible. Yeah, indeed. Stuff. I've had enough of this uh, box to box business. I'm going to play sweeper now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I did like the quote. I will very much remain alive. <laughs> he said, This is outrageous. Everyone can see that I am alive, whether on TV or on the pitch. <laughs> Mateus dies when Mateus says. <laughs> if, if Mateus did die, he would probably still be quite good at football. Yeah. That's how good he is. Yeah. He could still probably do a job mm. as, as a dead man. He's one of the It'd be like Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> it would be. You just prop it him would. up. It would. You just yeah. you get like, a sacker yeah. running yeah, round yeah, with him. You get a player that needs a bit of guidance on the pitch and you just <laughs> strap Matthias's corpse to him and it will improve that player. <laughs> Lothar Matthias has got so much muscle memory for being so good at football. Yeah. He could still get through like a 90 minute game if it was an just, important yeah, game. Yeah, just from, just from escaping gas. <laughs> it's not the equivalent of having an injection. It is. Would yeah. he count? Was that? Would that count as two players if he was the corpse? No, I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, Even if I mean, did. We, uh, check the rules. Even if I don't think FIFA thought of this. We're playing a back three. Why? You'll see. <laughs> um, yeah. Don't worry about. You it. can't be playing him on side. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, That's it. what I said when I got caught in that toilet. Yeah. Must holding it for a friend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. George. George. We George, better George, are you coming back? <laughs> that was only last week as well. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Can you remember something silly a footballer or footballers have done on a night on the town? I think we all can. <laughs> mm. Pete, you go first. Uh, but I yeah, eventually that's... settled on this this one, which I, I, I dug out from a 2001 uh, issue of the Observer newspaper. <laughs> um, it's Peter Shilton. Right. Have you heard this one before? I think I have. In 1980, Mm -hmm. and I'll just read it as it's written. Uh, Peter Shilton was arrested for drink driving after being found at 5am in a country (laughs) lane with a woman called Tina in his car. When Tina's husband Colin arrived, he said the pair were partially clothed. Shilton hurriedly drove away and crashed into a (laughs) lamppost. He admitted taking a lady for a meal, in quotes, <laughs> and was fined £350 and banned for driving for 15 months. He then had to endure countless terror chants of Shilton, Shilton, where's your wife for the rest of his career. Oh what, why wow. did the woman's husband turn up? I don't know. Happen? She's wrong. So strange. <laughs> you never guess what I've got in the back of the car. Yeah. <laughs> Come and have a look. She'd have had to pull over, though, although you might have had one of those massive 80s mobile phones. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Like, I, I, I like seeing a gigantic man in a mini metro. <laughs> I, I like to think, though, that the husband turned up. What the hell are you? doing and he sort of pushes the wife out of the car and goes anyway I'll be off now <laughs> straight yeah. into the oh, that's backfire. <laughs> I sat him out of the wire uh, what's his name um, where he has a night out and he sleeps with the lady and then smashes the car into a wall McNulty oh, McNulty, McNulty. McNulty. Yeah. McNulty yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah so Peter Shilton Jim I'll set the scene you'll all know what it is I think I know what you're going yeah, for it's, it's a nightclub yep Jonathan Woodgate's yes, on holiday yes. with his mates. Jonathan Woodgate gets a little bit bored. So Jonathan Woodgate gets a glass, finishes the drink in it, smashes it over his own head so that he's bleeding quite badly. The bouncers come over, confused, ask what's going on. Uh, Jonathan Woodgate says, oh, nothing, I'm fine, I'm just going to go home now. <laughs> Bars him, takes himself home. Yeah. He glassed himself. Yeah. Al- Alaska Why? Escape, like much of his defending. There has never been an explanation for that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's that's a great one. It's 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 quite hard to find evidence of that on the internet. But it was in the Sun, and someone did um, send me a, a, a like a, a scan of a clipping of it once. So it's a real thing. It was mm. out there. Yeah. If anyone knows Jonathan Woodgate, ask him. Please let us know why this. Jonathan happened. Glasshead, more like. Yeah, it's, it's one of the wor- it's one of the, the sort of last unsolved footballing mysteries. Mm. <laughs> well, what yeah, goes yeah. on inside that tall man's head? Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. but more so than Qatar. Perhaps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> um, uh, Old, which he quite liked. Um, and he also had time to say, uh, had a pop-up, the FIFA director saying they're all over 95 years old. They are so old they cannot even drive a car, so how can they lead the world of football? <laughs> Fair point. They don't yeah. need to, they're chauffeured. Yeah, they are, they yeah, are chauffeured, true. to be that fair. That is yeah. true. Maybe uh, it's the chauffeurs doing all the real work in football. <laughs> 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 to, be fair to, to be fair to Maradona, I mean, he's not involved as much, uh, now, but Jao Havelange is 97. Mm. And he's still around. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, you know. Just retire. Yeah. Are you having a go at him for being alive? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> we are. I'm just backing up El Diego. And he's Diego. still around. I'm just backing up El, El Diego's But point. he's not involved yeah. anymore. Well, yeah. isn't he, though? It's a bit embarrassing now, isn't it? It's a bit embarrassing him just hanging around. <laughs> Put it, you might have turned the strings. I told you, the reason he's still alive is because he's probably been fed on, like, FIFA monkey embryos. Yeah. And, like, and also, I'm, I imagine, blood. sort of, you know, the organs of, of, of you children. Know, poorer channels yeah. children are used yeah. to replace any of his failing ones. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably not even him anymore. No, it, I mean... It's like triggers... Room. It, he'll find another host body before long anyway. 
If you pumped into a promising youngster like Messi. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Um, the views of, of, of Luke Moore and Jim Campbell, not the football ramble there. Yeah. Um, Although half of it. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to get involved in the yeah. courts. You um, just don't want Joe Havilland to take you as a host. Yeah, that would be terrifying. <laughs> yeah, there would, be, there would be a few ghost goals, wouldn't there? I mean, I'm not having a pop at him because he is 97, but he's a quite a terrifying looking bloke. Well, and he's like. also... I'm not having a pop at him. No, well, you can have a pop at some of the dodgy stuff he's allegedly... <laughs> Almost definitely done. <laughs> <laughs> probably, best, probably best leave that alone. I think technically you can't, Marcus. That's how the law works. Yeah. Um, uh, anyway, elsewhere in Italy, an email. An email. Okay. Yeah, right. Well, uh, we we criticised friend of the ramble, Murray James, for not uh, doing anything last week, and he's, he's, <laughs> my has he responded? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go straight in. Hello. Sorry for not getting involved last week. Got caught up in work. This week's been the same. I'm working harder than Harry Redknapp's presumably Filipino cleaner and his presumably illegally extended beach house bought with presumably dirty money. Presumably. Thanks for that, Murray. Uh, yeah. Yeah. However... If we're not here next week, <laughs> this however, will be a high point. Yeah. However, I did have time to knock up a Schwarzenegger 11. Okay, so I'll, just go, I'll go straight well, in. So he is, just knocked so it up. So yeah. this is an Arnold Schwarzenegger first right. 11. I'll have a think. Okay, in the spirit of last week's Cat 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So here we are. That's Junior Hoylet. Yeah. <laughs> Jürgen Twinsman. That is very good. <laughs> Carl, Carl Heinz running my nigger. <laughs> that is top. <laughs> Conan Denberbarian. <laughs> Quaid Hignett. <laughs> Sarah Connor Wickham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Commando Torres. <laughs> Eraser Ruddock. Excellent. <laughs> Morton Gamst Predatorson. <laughs> Cesar Azpilavista, baby. And the quite magnificent Michael Get to the Chopra. <laughs> and the manager is Kinder Jurgen Klopp. <laughs> I mean, Diego Klopp. Yeah. Also, he adds, we don't need a keeper. Arnie's fucking mental. Yeah. Um, quick one for the younger listen- listeners. This is a poo 11. Um, Steve Legrizovich, <laughs> Keith Curl, Crap Stam, Wes Brownie, Jobby Savage, <laughs> David Dung, Cack Wilshire, Stool Fox, Turdy Sheringham, <laughs> Shite York, and Floater Mateus. Reserve keeper, Shaka Hisplop, managed by Poo Kinnear. <laughs> Take care, Murray. <laughs> oh. I think my favourite was Keith Curl. <laughs> and that, in a nutshell, is why he's front of the ramble. Yeah, exactly. Red Sonyari Litman. Nice. That's decent. Mm. That is actually decent, yeah. That's mm. it. He just knocked it up. Yeah. Wonderful stuff from Murray James there. Mm. Excellent, Murray. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, oh, Pete, Kinder Jurgen Klopp. Jesus. I did a lot, but that, obviously the player sent off. But um, Croatia had loads of possession. Mm. They were sort of knocking on the door. Um, but. I think it's probably looking difficult for them. But I'd, lo- I'd love to see him do it. I but it is, but that, but that um, little seed of doubt in, in, in Croatia's mind, the fact that if Iceland score, they'll have to get two, mm. and that could be the difference. Yeah, but so. at the same time, it could um, stifle Iceland, because they've, they've got to attack, haven't they? So if they're too nervy about that, they might leave the front, back door open. Would you not front think, door open? Would you, probably not as bad in Any door. <laughs> <laughs> Analogy-wise. Yeah. Yeah. Side door, fine. Do, do you not think that they would take... <laughs> Serving a, match. Would they take... Would they take <laughs> to... <laughs> Shut up, Luke, we're talking. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> Sorry, about, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> We're naming different kinds of doors, mate. Yeah. Marcus, you got any doors? Go on, Luke. Um, <laughs> Those doors that make allotments out of. Yeah. Attic door. Go on. Uh, 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 Cat uh, flap. <laughs> <laughs> goal flap. That's what the goal should be called from now on. Goal flap. No, go goal on, flap. seriously, mate. If Iceland, if Iceland <laughs> uh, sort of try and keep the goal flap very firmly shut, <laughs> would they be happy with a nil-nil after 90 minutes? Would you think we'll take our chances or yeah. penalties or something? Yeah. No, 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 <laughs> no takers. <laughs> no takers. And I don't. What I don't. The thing I don't like about the world of football is we're doing a show on football here now. And the next bit is going to be about an apparent inquiry, an apparent slave problem. It's. Yeah. I shouldn't have to have to comment on. That. It's, no, it's good to like, remind people that this is a football joke. Yeah, I know. Actually, we should have a talk about like Bangladesh, uh, Bangladeshis having their visas taken off, taken off them, have their passports taken off them to make some stadiums for a football tournament, uh-huh. yeah. which is already ridiculous. Well, <laughs> Pete, you say that. <laughs> but what, what does what, Franz Beck about? Franz Beckenbauer <laughs> saying, I have not seen a single slave in Qatar. Oh, no, egg on your you face, Pete Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you feel like an idiot yeah. now. Oh. Case closed, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Detective yeah. You know those Beckenbauer. investigative journalists who uncovered nonsense? Yeah. <laughs> because, uh, and Franz says, I don't know where these reports come from. Well, I can send you a few links, yeah. you it's prick. the slaves themselves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've been to Qatar and have a, have a completely different picture of it. Of course you do, yeah. you corporate slag. You mean wine and dine. It's been <laughs> hidden from you, Franz. <laughs> you... They're not going to give you a slave to take home, are they? As part well, of the... hang on a minute. <laughs> Because <laughs> we are talking about the FIFA football family here. Yeah. <laughs> if Franz Ferdinand, Franz Ferdinand, Franz, 
<laughs> Take me out. Let, let me out. <laughs> <laughs> if Franz Beckenbauer turns up at a stadium, like, they'll know he's coming. It'll be like Home Alone. They'll all have, yeah. like, cardboard cutouts of uh, people. Yeah, we're all happy. We're all ha We're not slaves. Mm. It's fine. Franz, Franz Beckenbauer actually finished the point by saying, I think my opinion is more realistic. He actually <laughs> said that. I've, I've been there. I've yeah. been there. Marcus, yeah. I think you can fill us in on what else Beckenbauer's been up to lately. Um, yeah. to, to show sort of how credible uh, his slaves, opinion is. Slaves don't exist. Aliens do. Aliens do. Yeah. <laughs> have come to take- If anybody's seen that thing on YouTube- Oh, gee. This Franz is why football- This is- Like, Franz Beckenbauer <sighs> used to Help be- me. Used to be <laughs> uh, extraordinarily classy, <laughs> talented, <laughs> and very, very high-achieving football player and manager, yeah. and he's been re reduced to this. <laughs> this is what football does to people. I'd argue that this isn't football's fault, this is money's fault, and this is FIFA's fault. <sighs> yeah. Like- Give yeah. me strength, Beckenbauer. You know, <laughs> like imagine if you're one of the the workers in Qatar. You know, it's going on. Mm. Do you know what I mean? People are dying for f goodness Look sake. Look at the fucking body bags. Yeah. it's not like there isn't yeah. body bags. And, you know and, what I mean? and he has a voice in football. He turned <laughs> around and went, even if he didn't know, but he went, well, if that's happening and it's terrible, and I think we need to make sure. And blah blah blah. If he just turned around and goes, no, it's not happening. What a prick. Yeah, I agree. Do you know what I mean? Like, for fuck's sake. You know, it's absolute disgrace that it he really just, is. it's, it's shocking. Oh no, that's not happening, don't worry about it. Bollocks, absolute bollocks. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, uh, more, something else is an absolute disgrace, uh, Pete's game. <laughs> 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 Very much an equivalent medieval dictatorship. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. And those people who do your answers, they're not getting paid, <laughs> so that is slave yeah. labour in a way. <laughs> Have a catchy, there you go. I almost had to physically wrestle that back <laughs> Question of the week. <laughs> I'm getting a pet cat. No, I'm joking. It's not that. Uh, Norwich City were handed a battering at the weekend. Yep. Uh, tell us the biggest footballing lesson slash defeat you've been handed. Not all defeats are lessons. No, that's true, <laughs> but some of, some of them are. Um, Kevin Q. Anderson. Um, <laughs> this is the best one. I'll finish with this one from Twitter from Niall Mulally. The referee blew up early when we were six nil down, and the other team complained. The referee replied in front of us all, "Just leave it, lads. This lot of shit." <laughs> <laughs> I was ten years old. <laughs> I was ten years old. That is quality. <laughs> well, I can I can wade in with a little uh, referee uh, outburst as well. We played a team when we we we, we, uh, we hammered them to be perfectly honest with you, and uh, uh, they were just a group of individuals who. Um, quite clearly shouldn't be playing in a competitive team. Just go and have a kick about with your mates. If, if what, all you just want... a bunch of ball hoggers? Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're arguing this, that and the other. And uh, the ref, <laughs> they kept shouting at the ref. And the referee was a little tubby bloke who clearly was up for something. Yeah, and... He was a ref. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not joking. They, they were hounding the ref the whole game and the referee got so pissed off that he tackled one of their players. <laughs> And passed it back to our keeper, and they were just absolutely dumbfounded. They were like, "What are you doing?" And the referee, <laughs> the referee, as he, this is true, I promise you, as he walked off, the keeper cleared it off the pitch, and it smacked the ref on the back, <laughs> on the back of the head. Right, so their whole team just went into absolute laughter at the referee. So the referee then like picked up the ball as if he was going to go right. I'm going home. And his lad was like, Ref, what are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And he went, Were you born an effing dickhead and squid off to the bloke? What, was it? what God, a wow. terrible bloke. <laughs> Dad's <laughs> breakdown. Best meltdown I've ever seen on yeah. a pitch, and it was by a referee. Three. Yeah. There you How's go. about that? Brilliant. Mm. Um, we're going to go to the Gloucester Northern Senior League. The big one. Oh. Um, and uh, it, Sordley AFC play by the Forest of Dean. Now, we reported on a similar story um, about this sort of thing a few years ago, um, and it's, it's come up again. Their pitch was torn up by wild boars. Wild boars! <laughs> 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 nice, Pete, nice. Wild boars! Wild boars! Wild boars! <laughs> uh, uh, to be honest, the sound, the sound clip's there from last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, any any old listeners that I remember probably two or three years ago. Um, How many times have you hovered over that to delete it and gone, no, <laughs> no, not this <laughs> may <laughs> happen again. Yeah. It'll come back. Well, you're right, Pete, because um, there was a boar expert down um, by the pitch, and he said that they are creatures of habit, <laughs> because it's a cut field, they like it better so they can get the worms and grubs. They just like to get in there quickly and dig up what they're looking for. Mm. Bouvé Rossler! <laughs> Was not involved. Yeah, he, not, was he not, not at all. all. He was in He's the, the Shola Amiobi. Uh, 
He was in the previous. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> we interrupt someone effects. else's radio show. <laughs> um, but yeah, so wild boars are um, tearing up the pitch. It would cost in excess of a thousand pounds. Maybe if you nip down there, you get a chance to play against loads of pigs. Like you That'd be to. brilliant. That's the closest you'll get. Well, I'll, 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 I'll get the feeling so Marcus you... is about to launch an appeal to raise money to uh, <laughs> to, to have them shot or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what the players? Yeah. <laughs> no, this is one or the other. <laughs> this should be. This should be an appeal for each. Yeah. And whoever wins gets to live. <laughs> I, I have forgot that. And I, it's yeah. to my detriment. It's to love us, Abbott. Well, if you could organise uh, uh, some sort of party for for uh, Sir Alex Ferguson, uh, who would you invite, Pete? Actually, think about it. What's it? A, a dinner party and we all get an invite? Yeah, why no, not? we all get to invite a person. Yeah, okay, you've all got yeah. a plus one. <laughs> okay, right. Pete, who are you bringing? I would bring the Cuban recording artist Armando <laughs> Christian Perez. <laughs> AKA Pitbull. Pitbull. <laughs> <laughs> Because I just think we'd have a lovely time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why this is funny. <laughs> just, why would just picture it? Why would it not be funny? Me and Pitbull hold nans. Yeah. Te- I'm teaching I... them how to use the right knife. Yeah. <laughs> Strangely, you and Pitbull would have the most in common. Fergie would be just all at sea. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm inviting Roy yeah. Keane. Yeah. So <laughs> this is uh, this is a very aggressive dinner party. Sticking yeah. up your pitbulls. Would um would Ferguson swing his butt round and round, and at the end of the night, would it go down for Pitbull? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> he's had it, when he's got enough wine in him, who knows? <laughs> and he's generally got enough wine in him, so <laughs> it's looking likely, isn't it? <laughs> so we got Pitbull and Roy Keane. Shit. Yeah. Well, let you play the big man, let him come mm. along, mm. and then just see the just watch let the fireworks go. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's, it's kind of, this sort of dinner party would remind me of like Malcolm Tucker when he gets fired, and he yeah. has that dinner party with all the journalists and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> And Pitbull's in. <laughs> and, and Pitbull's there <laughs> with me, <laughs> talking about the foxy lasses we've copped off with. <laughs> copped well, he's off. talking about. I don't think you're, Pitbull talks about copping right? off with anyone. I've oh, got Pitbull. Yeah. Tell me more. Yeah. Pitbull's, Pitbull's, Pitbull's talking. Pete's listening. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Pete's learning. <laughs> learning you, all the wrong lessons. How'd you get off with lasses, Pitbull? <laughs> Jim, you, have you Jim. ever gone steady with a girl? <laughs> <laughs> what base have you been to, Pitbull? <laughs> Pitbull's at the end, just going. I don't understand a word you just said. <laughs> Have you ever grabbed them from over the top of our blouse? <laughs> Pitbull. OK, so, my guest. Uh, um, uh, yeah, so, so there we are. Premier League. Premier League. Uh, let's go straight to Newcastle United versus Manchester oh, City. shut your noise, you fucking old cunt. <laughs> Quite of the century, that, isn't it? It's incredible. <laughs> shut your noise, you fucking old cunt. <laughs> Pardew said it, so we're allowed to say Yeah, exactly. We're just quoting him. <laughs> easily, <laughs> easily, torso, ten shoulders, the best part of my weekend, seeing that. <laughs> and, you're on, and you're on Match of the Day as well. Oh, yeah, apparently so. Oh, no, I was, yeah. Yeah, you were, yeah. Oh, dear. It's just <laughs> sensational. Sensational. <laughs> Alan Pardew. Mm. He's only eight years older than him, Pellegrini. The, time, the great thing Noisy, about... though. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. not really. No, Have you ever... <laughs> Doesn't really, strike me as either noisy or old. He's never been noisy. He always looks cane. Even at a pit bull gig, he wouldn't be noisy. No. I, <laughs> oh, there's been a line drawn under that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I like that Pardew. He sort of does it. He very cyclically does stupid stuff that makes him out to be a terrible individual <laughs> mm. on quite a consistent basis. Yeah. Like every eight weeks or so, which would suggest something, wouldn't it? He's like, remember when he pushed the? Uh, was it the fourth official he pushed? Mm. So oh, like he's got fine. a different personality for each alleged phone. You're right, indeed. <laughs> but I thought that was, um, yeah, I thought that was very funny because I saw that that actually happened. And I thought, is he, is he, I couldn't work out what he'd said first, but obviously I recognised the second bit. So good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but the problem with Padu is he makes everything personal. Yeah. He's got a, such a big ego that he takes everything personal. And he does that smile with, the, with his obviously with his new teeth and sort of tries to laugh everything off. And it's like, no, hang on a minute, that's a really like low quality thing to do. Yeah. It's <laughs> really, really you can't laugh poor, that isn't off. It? You know, you can't <laughs> smile that I, off. Can you imagine? How embarrassed he feels now. You know when you do something a bit stupid and you think back to it the next day and you just sort of go, oh, God, and your very being feels uncomfortable. <laughs> the last few days would have been like that for that for, been, for poor Alan Pardew. I've been in nightclubs drunk shouting, you're more experienced than that, <laughs> <laughs> going down the tunnel <laughs> in the nightclub. Um, uh, yeah. I didn't understand a word of that. <clears throat> he did, he did apologise, Pardew. Yeah, but yeah, he, he also him. called him an old cunt. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know... <laughs> worth reiterating as much yeah. as possible, I think. But, I mean, a lot of... Uh, I think Talk Sport were trying to... Play. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's done. There's no doubt now. It's done. Mm. Uh, to South America. Uh, uh, Brazil, Ronaldinho, after rapping on his uh, carnival float the other week, has collaborated with DJ Dennis on a new track called Let's Drink. If I may read the chorus out to you, it goes something like this. Boot the glass up high. Let's drink. We will enjoy life. We drink. I'm full of money. Let's drink. Yeah. 
I'm full of money. It's <laughs> not as good as Pitbull, but close. No. Is he putting in a, a bid for an unofficial World Cup anthem? Oh, dear. I like that. I'm I'm full, full of money. Full of money. Yeah, um, drink. The great thing about these players... <laughs> Boot the yeah, glass up high. The great thing about these players, Ronaldinho and Ronaldo, is they were brilliant. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Brilliant, oh, yeah. But they've never lost sight of the important things in life, yeah. which is to just enjoy yourself. Yeah. Yeah. But as you say, what, what would you rather in slagging people off like Matteo Sammer, former no. great player? No. 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 Gold, they, they gold suits and rap careers. Hasn't, hasn't the great Rivaldo announced his retirement? He has, yeah, from, mm. from Moggy Miram. Too early. Gone too soon. 41. <laughs> <laughs> 24 years as a player. Yeah, exactly. He'll Brilliant. be back. He'll be back. Oh, no. uh, and then wet himself. Absolutely. Before, yeah. before we uh, go to Pete's game, we've got to mention the things that are happening in Romania. Mm. Um, this is not a football story to begin with, but you'll but see it where will we're become going. One, won't yeah. it? Um, MPs in Romania are trying to decriminalise political corruption. <laughs> 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 Which is. I Incredible. mean, staggering. Come yeah. on. In a way, I sort of respect it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so brazen, isn't it? Yeah. It's just... I, I, re- mean... I read this. I, like, mayors and other local officials would no longer be held uh, liable for conflicts of interest. 28 members of the Romanian mm. parliament have been mm. convicted or are currently on trial for corruption. 100 mayors and vice mayors mm. on trial for awarding public mm. contracts of family and friends or for similar abuses. Now, I'm not saying that Romania needs the World Cup, but FIFA's cock is hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a bit hard, of me, that is. That's a bit Galvanised titanium. I love the conversation. 2026. I love the conversation between the MPs. There's 28 of us on trial for this. Do you know what we should do? Clean up our act? Stop it being a crime. (laughs) Decriminalise crime. Yeah. Yeah. It's words it's, fail it's you, doesn't amazing, it? Amazing, amazing turn of events. Isn't but it? anyway, because that, fuck you, yeah, that's why. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, and that leads us to suggest that Bacali could be out soon. Good, yeah. Because if this law is passed, the George, jail doors will be open. Benefit. Hasn't George Hardy said he'll give him a job? Georgie, I mean, this makes this is reason four hundred and fifty-seven while the ramble exists. Um, Georgie Hadji, uh, who is the Romanian club Constanta, he's the owner of that club. He's offered old Bacali a community service job when he moved to a nearby open prison. He's wholeheartedly welcome. Apart from his big mouth, he's a good... He's a, he's a true false for good. Yeah. He's good um, police. So, yeah, but thanks to Michael Healy for pointing that out He'll be mm. FIFA president before we know it. Mm. Yeah. For all this time. Yeah. Um, Andy Carroll recently said in an interview, I'm the best chef in the squad, and you can put that in capital letters. Did he shout that? Well, I don't have any capital letters on me, Andy, um, but I thought I'd pronounce it a little bit louder so um, the capital letters wouldn't fall by the wayside. But from the footballing arena, if you could choose someone to cook for you, who would you choose, Pete Donaldson? I'd go with next, Jim. No. Um, uh, Luke, what's your answer? Um, I decided that I would like... I, well, I, was, I, I went for the pun angle. Go on. Uh, <laughs> yes. and, and I, I was going to apologise, but not, I don't think I will. You're no, not alone, mate, don't it. worry. <laughs> I thought that maybe Benoit Asu Risotto. <laughs> 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 Not, not a real player. Or <laughs> cooking you a, a lasagna. Yeah, or uh, terry vegetables. <laughs> did you say cookery lasagna? <laughs> no, cooking a lasagna. Uh, uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> yes, I are, did. Uh, those two are available. I'd quite like uh, to have a stew cooked for me by Dion Dumpling. <laughs> back back nice. a real lasagna would work, wouldn't it? It would, yeah. yeah. It would, yeah. <laughs> Terry vegetables, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. I'm not letting that one go uh, yeah, quietly into the night. Add, yeah. add dairy vegetables into it. Dairy. Dairy. Dairy Dairy vegetables, yeah. Mm. Connor salmon. You don't even have to change (laughs) that. No, you don't. You've got to change one letter. Marry food. Mark (laughs) fish. (laughs) Mark fish. (laughs) There you go, that was my one. Dave meat. Uh, Jim, what are you going (laughs) to (laughs) ask? You know. What kind of frightening robot would I be? <laughs> <laughs> when when uh, on that Roy Keane Vieira program, when um, he was asked by I think it was uh, who's who was it Gabriel who, Clark? Yeah, Gabriel Clark. Um, what he thought when uh, he said he told him that Alex Ferguson said in the semi final such a good job he did when he knew he was going to be missing from the Champions League final. He said, "How did you feel when Alex Ferguson spoke of you in those glowing terms?" He went patronised. <laughs> 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 So, well, I'm just doing my job. Yeah, what are they A expect? postman just delivers yeah. the letters. You yeah. don't say, well done. Yeah. 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 Not in Hartlepool. There was a, a famous case of a, a postman just throwing all of his letters into the sea. <laughs> Can I? <laughs> the in the sea. We they wash up. <laughs> you can't get any good distance on them. Was there a lo- uh, local radio station going, if you want your mail, <laughs> head down to the coast? Get down to, get down to Seaton. <laughs> get on the it's beach. Always, it's always tickled me, because that's a real fuck you, isn't it? Is that, <laughs> yeah. I'm throwing the letters, not into the bin, I'm throwing it into the sea. I, just, I will get caught for this. <laughs> also, we should have done a runner, and people think, did, did he... 
Has he returned to the sea? <laughs> I mean, that's where all the kids used to get rid of the three papers they had to deliver. But the post is that's naughty. I heard, that's, that's I, heard he, I heard he scribbled mm. on bar on every letter, crossed out the address, and just wrote the beach. <laughs> <laughs> every single time. Look, that's what it says. I like, he just did one letter, like job out of Arrested Development, just did, <laughs> throw it. Yeah. Throw it did into you the lose sea. anything, Pete? I didn't lose anything. No. Wads of care. How do you know? My ear levels. Oh. Yeah. I, 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 I actually did have yeah. a, a short a paper out <laughs> for a very short time doing three papers, and I did I did chuck a lot of them. I did. I did. I did, I did, I did uh, Paid around for a very short period of time. I, I delivered them all. I five years. Delivered them all. Why did you have such short No, I had a proper paid round as well, but oh, this right, was a different okay. one. I had a bacon <laughs> round for a few weeks. Bacon <laughs> Yeah, delivering bacon. <laughs> People of Edinburgh love their bacon, let me tell you. <laughs> well, well, they love my bacon. <laughs> well, you, should, you should do that again. Oh. We should give away a prize for one listener yeah. that you just deliver them some bacon Every one day. morning for a month. <laughs> do you know what, right? I'm just trying to work out if that is actually a prize. It was actually quite funny because some of the customers were quite fussy, so you'd have have next to their name lean. Oh, the really? lean bacon, oh, right. Okay, yeah. right. wow. 148 for regular bacon, 152 for smoked bacon. Oh, well, that's what, what, per pound. Yeah, yeah. I haven't thought about this for years. Wow. Given, given what happened at the weekend, can we just talk about bacon for the rest <laughs> of the show? <laughs> well, well done, done my everyone. friend. Well done, everyone. Yeah, cheers, Jim. How are we going to fill the rest of the time? Yeah. Well, I think we've got an email, do we, we not? We do. Jim? Yeah, I've had this email sat in front of me for about 20 minutes now, and I, I'm so glad that I can now read it. It's from Friend of the Ramble, Murray James. Um Dear Pete, Marcus, Luke and Jim, in order of most likely to get their wang stuck in a toaster. I like the way he still emails us, even though he could just text or ring or yeah. whatever, you know. Because mm. uh, he's a pal. He's he is, he's a friend of the ramble. Yeah. Yeah. My Sunday league game was postponed at the weekend, and I felt as lost as Richard Keyes at a Don't Be a Tiny Face twat convention. <laughs> I just didn't know what to do with myself, so I knocked up a Jurassic Park 11, oh, lining up 4-3-3. Three, three. Okay, so here we go. In goal. Sit down, everyone, <laughs> because <laughs> track yourselves Murray's in. Yeah, if you're on the train, you might want to pause it. Yeah. <laughs> in goal. Edwin van der Sarus Rex. Yeah, okay, good yeah. start. In defence, Rory de Lapp, as in raw like a dinosaur might. <laughs> oh, what did you mean, raw? Okay, right, yeah. yeah. Isla Nublar... <laughs> Isla Nublarto Solano. Isla Nublar... Okay, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stig Ingen Bjornaby. That's good. Don't wait till they, oh, they get better. Ingen, very good. <laughs> Embryo Ferdinand. Yeah. Oh, Think yeah. Jurassic Park, not dinosaurs, Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. Yeah. David Dun 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 Dun. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy uh, Prince Boateng. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Clever Gurley. Yeah! Oh, and up front, up front, we've got DNA Ashton. Yeah, or yeah. DNA Ashton. <laughs> Jan, Veloc- Jan Velocigor of Raptor Link. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle, we've got Gabriel Batishuta. <laughs> And on the bench, you've got Hammond, Shearer, Nedry, Sheringham, Darren Amberton, Jurassic Park, <laughs> Martin Skrtle, manager Dr. Avram Grant, assistant Breda Hangerland, and mascot, of course, Gunnosaurus. Uh, and Murray continues, at half-time, Sepp Blatter is dressed as a goat, chained to a stake in a centre circle, and mauled to death. So, um, thank you, Murray. Dr. Well done, Grant, Dr. Awesome. Avram Grant. Has. Gearing up for that hot final. Uh, yes, it will. <laughs> um, let me uh, start the show by asking you, gents, what would you like to see happen in the semi finals of the Capital One Cup? Pete? Definitely football. Yeah. Mm. But other than that, it's a uh, must. I would like a um, literal giant killing. <laughs> <laughs> right. A humanoid colossus being executed mm. in the centre circle. Yeah. Everyone Dark. cheering. Well, like Gulliver's Travels, that uh, kind of size of giant. I like that. It's, it's, it's OK if they're massive. It's fine. It's not tragic. It's, it's, it's safe, isn't it? It, it is, just keeps yeah. the, the villagers safer. Um, <laughs> so what, what tie would you like to see that at? Any of them, really. He could do all of them. He could run, <laughs> he could run to each one and get increasingly more hurt and confused. Because <laughs> it wow. would take him no time at all to run to the next leg, would it? No, I guess so. Yeah. Depends how big he is. Well, yeah. they're quite nearby, aren't they? I suppose. Well, no, they're yeah. Sunderland and Manchester. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. It's, I mean, it, it's unworkable, Pete. <laughs> it's still more likely to happen than um, West Ham getting a result. Let's face it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. Well, which giant specifically? Uh, the big friendly giant. <laughs> big friendly oh, giant. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> that is a bit. Well, is Godzilla a giant or is it? Just it's a giant yeah. reptile. So a humanoid so, on a technicality. Yeah. Uh, Pete did King specify Kong. humanoid. Uh, King Kong yeah. probably closer to the humans, maybe. Yeah. Well, King Kong then. Okay, King Kong. I don't know. Yeah. Godzilla DNA may be closer to human DNA than King Kong DNA. I don't the know. Power the Power Rangers so when they all joined together and made a big Power Ranger. D- okay. Yeah. I think I think that's the winner. No. Yeah. Well, uh, well, ultimately the loser because it will be killed. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, definitely. Do you want to move on to Jim's? <laughs> Strange times for the Capital One Cup. <laughs> <laughs> all will agree.
it's right to him. He just yeah. tapped it in. It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Are Manchester United better with just Rooney on the field as opposed to Rooney and Van Persie? Well, I did a, um, I did a little American radio slot earlier uh, uh, today, like which I did do. on a weekly like basis. You do. Uh, the North American Soccer Network. Oh, yeah. Uh, Nazzle. I, <laughs> I, I actually floated the idea. Oh. It's got a mixed response, I have to say. Uh-huh. That perhaps United should think about moving Van Persie on. Purely because Eat they, my ass, Luke. Probably, yeah. It was, was one of the comments. <laughs> Is what Van Persie yeah. said. Yeah, yeah. Get off the Nazm. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Don't be disrespectful. I'm, yeah. doing the, I'm doing what it was like. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have the rights to play it. No. So we've got to recreate what? it through stereotypes. <laughs> what, what was the other one? Stereotypes is not an accent, it's an accent. What, what, what are the other things I was saying, Pete? Uh, they were saying, uh, we don't like you, the cut of your jib, son. Yeah, you... You, beardy, you bet your ass. You beardy jerk. <laughs> um, anyway, I said, what, if, if, if you're not looking at now... Aluminum. Co- you're fucking strung out, more. <laughs> Shouldn't have mentioned it, should I? No. Should not have mentioned it. I'm not going to take hold of it, either. No. You're on your own, son. Is Luke Moore better not mentioning his other jobs? <laughs> Go on, Luke. He saves you. I don't get paid. Yeah. Uh, much like this. Yeah. Uh, so Why do you pay my son. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? Absolutely yeah. ridiculous. Um, right, and lastly, to Brazil. I've got a Pele update for you all. Uh, he's recently unveiled his latest business venture, which is him selling strands of his hair for around £4,500 a strand. That is steep. <laughs> Very steep. That's yeah. a lot of money. I don't care if he is Pele. I know. You know. The strands will be fashioned into diamonds and sold in a gold-plated box. How many strands do you, 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 you need for a diamond? <laughs> is that even possible? Shouldn't is Pele people, just assuming it is? Shouldn't more people do this if you can make diamonds out of your hair? Yeah. You can make diamonds on everything, can't you? Yeah. But it just it takes a lot of energy. If I've got car t- carbon atoms, rude. Is that right? That's that's red, red, red. You're, so you're saying it's just energy that are in the way of people... Yeah, making fortune. their hair into diamonds. I tell you what, could you make your hair into diamonds while it was still on your head? No, could you have <laughs> like diamond hair? I think the pressures involved <laughs> might, <laughs> might render that difficult. The way Pele's acting lately, I just after the World Cup, just put Pele in a machine, make him into diamonds. Yeah, so I'm getting tired of it. <laughs> yeah, in many ways, he's what he selling wanted. his hair. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. selling his hair for four thousand yeah. pounds. That's the sort of thing. Well, it's, it's a shark has been jumped. If, if he did do that, Maradona would spend the whole rest of his life running around going, "There's zircons, there's zircons." Proper, they're rubbish. They're nowhere as good as my diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> Would you think the Italian police are going, hmm, yeah. take strands yeah. of his hair? <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, he's just a solid-plated uh, box decorated with Pelle in his playing days. A profit of the share of this will go to a children's hospital. Right. Right. Um, it's a very yeah, convoluted a way of giving money to charity. How much is that profit, then? Yeah. Let's have a look at the money. It, it's almost like if he really wanted to give the charity, he could have just given him some money. Yeah. <laughs> R- or, rather than essentially deifying yourself. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Have, having a meeting at a charity. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, take my hair, carve, put it in the diamonds, put it in a gold plated box, give you a share of it. No, just give us some money. That's going to take ages. That sounds like it will take ages. Believe it or not, though I am Pele, my hair is not already made of diamonds. <laughs> so we're going to use an undoubtedly really, really expensive method of making my hair into diamonds, and then you can have some of the money. So how, did, how did the meeting go with Pele? Diamonds? Oh, well. it, was, it was weird. <laughs> it was <laughs> very, very weird. He's losing it. It took a turn. <laughs> It took a bit of a turn. We sort of had to say yes because it was Pele. (laughs) Um, He was asked um, about his thoughts on the recent death of another construction worker on the World Cup Stadia, and he said... I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh because obviously it's a serious thing, but he says, that's normal, the stuff of life. These things happen. What worries me is the airport's not being finished. I've been travelling a, travelling a lot and it's chaos. Now buy my diamond hair. <laughs> that's a big Priorities, issue. Priorities, eh? That's the big wow. issue here. Yeah. Thanks. What the fuck is happening? The Virgin, yeah. the Virgin First Class Lounge is not first class. <laughs> yeah. For me, Pele. It's a thing of life. It's the exact opposite, yeah. to be honest. Pele? Yeah. It's almost a final act of life. <laughs> Isn't it really? I mean, it's a testament to that man's football and career. That's not there Beckenbauer. That, he, that nobody set fire at him yet. It's not yeah. there Beckenbauer, isn't it? It is. It yeah. is. I mean, He's just shitting on his own fucking leg. I you know, I'm not seeing these slavery. Oh, turn this into diamonds. Yeah. But these, these people are held in diamond. such high regard that they can go crazy and there's no one to sort of you tell can't. them or, Pelly, or that's question mental. them. Meanwhile, Ronaldo's running out of his house to set <laughs> I thought better of him. <laughs> They're all on the absolute piss take, these Brazilians. <laughs> 
<laughs> terrible. <laughs> Romario called him an imbecile recently. Yeah, good. Spot on. Romario's the only voice of reason here. I never thought yeah. I'd hear myself saying this. <laughs> That's the state of things. So yeah. Romario's Mario. the one where we're all going, well, go on. I follow Romario on Twitter. Oh. He's, a good, he's a good follower. He's into his politics, mm. stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, he's he's yeah. the only one, really, doing anything. <sighs> there you go. Yeah. Right, on to right. Pete's game. After playing for Stoke, I was a goalkeeping coach at QPR. Stop, Ed De Hoy. Ah. Ed De Hoy. Oh. <laughs> as soon as I thought, the guy's name's Ed, it's got me there. Yeah. The golden shoe. That's why I was trying to hone in on the oh, golden I thought shoe. it was for goals. I thought it was for goals. I'll it was it. the Dutch golden shoe. Well done, yeah. Pete. Well done. Who was it? I've Ed said Stone? Ed De Hoy so many Stone. times in not this. Not this week, mate, and no, that's when it counted. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. So sod off. You're, a I, big, you're not a big Ed mate, De Hoy player. Mate, it's me. <laughs> It's me, Marcus, it's me, Mate, what are you doing? It's, it's me I'm criticising here. Bro, bro, it's me. <laughs> Jesus You, you believe in me, don't you? <laughs> oh, shame about the blaspheme. Luke, correspondent. Yes. Um... Hey! That's what we like. That's, That's the sort of level we want. Pete, yes. Pete, what have you done for money? Uh, loads of stuff. Worked, I did a sold park at Leicester City, didn't I? Yeah, uh, nice, yeah. Worked in a betting shop for a while. I did um, uh. door-to-door sales of uh, scissors. Nice. I've, I've, I mean, I've mentioned my bacon round. On yeah, the show. yeah, yeah. yeah. Worked, worked in a zoo. Jim, you know, bacon round. Uh, I used to work in Index, which was like a knockoff Argos. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I will repeat that: a knockoff <laughs> oh, Argos. <God. laughs> That's not, what that was that like. can't be the worst thing that people have done for money. That's just a job that's sort of... Yeah, yeah I was going to say. I was gonna uh, yeah, say. no, that is. Uh, I did do that for money. That was bad. Um, Pete used to muck out animals. Uh, didn't, cages. didn't used to muck up. Muck up <laughs> didn't, I used to eat the um, chicken that um, used to go to the monkeys, the howling monkeys. Well, they had cooked chicken. Yeah, they had cooked chicken. And you ate it. Yeah, there was them. one monkey, a spider monkey, that came from a house in Leicestershire because people used to keep monkeys inexplicably back <laughs> yeah. in there, sailors and that. They'd bring them on, <laughs> and uh, and they used to get. And this one monkey used to get fed um, like roast. <laughs> what? And, and, that's, and, that's the, and that's the only what? thing it would eat. <laughs> <laughs> so they would make, so they make, you know, you know, roast potatoes for it. Because no, it would it need gravy. Tell me it would sit there, and it would just, 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 just try, try everything until it ate something. Be the first to say, if he got hungry, he'd eat what was put in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> He has to have a roast. What is this? He's about, he was about forty. I'm not, even, I'm not even funny, but zoos were asked for money for charity. Charities, a lot of them. <laughs> I don't want to know that my charity money is given to an absolute diva primate who wants a full roast dinner. <laughs> Twycross, Probably... Twycross Zoo. They, they had the PG Tips monkeys. One, they should I, I, chimps, To be fair, if it's, chimps. if it's PG Tips monkeys... <laughs> They're chimps. Okay. One, one thing uh, to, to finish on... You shouldn't be having a roast any other day in the sun there anyway. Yeah, yeah. Weird. What fresh madness is this? <laughs> oh, what, so that's the weird thing. They're eating roasts every day, not having a monkey in the fucking house. <laughs> that is a fair point. Yeah. And I will concede that a pet monkey may need them to change their roast rotor. Right, okay. <laughs> I understand that. Have lamb one day, have chicken yeah. the next. Yeah. Right, okay, good. Then the full hog roast moment. What's next Sunday, Mum? Bush meat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That is it. That is it. Well, Gerard didn't appeal for it, right, which says everything. Yeah. Um, I was going to go on just before I forget, on. because um, um, we might move on. A friend of mine told me quite a funny story about it. He was in a pub. Um, for the England game, hmm. and um, there's this guy there uh, at the bar, and these three absolute dickheads came in, mm-hmm. big England fans, but dickheads, uh, and saw this guy. And I think they sort of half knew him or something. But this is second second hand information, so I'm a bit sketchy on the details. But basically, they saw him and they started wedging him oh and, in the pub at the goodness. bar, right? But it gets better than this, yeah. <laughs> started wedging him at, at the bar. Then one of them saw that he was wearing St George flag underpants and went, "Oh, it's out of order! Stop! It's out of order!" <laughs> Oh leave my it, leave god! It, leave it! Oh you know, not today, not tonight. And like, let, 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 let him off. <laughs> what a good lad that one is! Oh my god! If anything what sums a up set of felons. Yeah. <laughs> We've played so much football. It would be great though if the Spanish uh, turned up and the fans were still singing. You know, like. You know, champions and all this sort of yeah. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> there's still a lot of champions. It's going to be weird for, for a little while. Yeah, for a little while longer. It's yeah. going to be odd for the younger generation. <laughs> a bit of, Chelsea of Champions League fans. maybe last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they won't be used to Spain losing. They won't yeah. be. You know, Spain were yeah, they would like England for a long time, won't they? Yeah. they you just couldn't rely know, on them to just fail. Like, you know, that seems forever ago. This tiki taki tata nonsense. It's just it, they're not over. They're still a world <laughs> force, and I would punch my own dead grandmother. <laughs> To death again, to have one <laughs> again? of their players. Is that, uh, yeah, to have any, to have Fernando Torres. Yeah. Really? I'd punch me now. Oh, me mate. dead nan. Look, <laughs> at Fernando least take Torres. a better player if you've got to beat up your <laughs> nan's court. <laughs> I'd eat a bit of my dad for Cesc Fabregas. There we go, Pete Donaldson. Take that to the bank, King of the North. You hear me, Mum and Dad? <laughs> King of the North. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that mum and dad. Angel of the North. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I've spoken like a true gent. Yeah. Yeah, honourable. The right honourable Pete Donaldson in there. Um, uh... We've thought about turning up the rule book, but an other option would be to get everyone else in the world to get rid of their rule book <laughs> and start again. <laughs> You're damn right. But um, so others have a different opinion on why Brazil lost to Germany. Some have blamed Mick Jagger for the loss. Yes. Yeah, I've heard of this superstition they have in Brazil. Apparently, Big Mick, he's jinxed England, Italy, Portugal and the US in this World Cup alone. Isn't it that every game he turns up at, they get beat or something? Or, yeah, or, or who, even if he declares his support for someone, they, right. they oh, do. Did if ten Mick Jaggers turn up? <laughs> <laughs> Seven of them. Seven of them, yeah. Uh, well, we the all pre- know there's more than one. There's the, no way at this age you can do the things he does. The, the camera adds ten Mick, Mick Jaggers. <laughs> <laughs> in the previous World Cup, he watched England lose to Germany, then sat with Billy Big Time Clinton to witness Ghana beat the US... Um, and then uh, he wore a Brazil shirt to their loss against the Netherlands and uh, messages of support. When was this? This was in the previous World yeah, Cup. Yeah, right. Alone. Um, uh, so this World Cup was mentioned this thing. He's been uh, dubbed the Angel of Doom by some Brazilians, which is wow. utterly ridiculous. Um, and his 15-year-old Brazilian son he attended the, the semi-final with. Yeah. So again, it's it's... It's just one theory, ladies and gentlemen, mm. that we had to present to you. We've got uh, to present all the arguments. Imagine making a, a Brazilian. I've made a Brazilian and the Brazilians hate me. <laughs> it's like, I've made one of you. How dare you? <laughs> I've bolstered your ranks. <laughs> yeah. I'm giving you something back. Sympathy for the Freddle. Hey! There we go. There's your stood up zoo radio style. That's the one. That's the one, ladies and gentlemen. Um, So there you go. Uh, Brazil 1, Germany 7, brackets Um, (laughs) SEVEN. Luke's got a smile on his face. He's about to bust out. The reason I got a smile on my face is because I hope you're not going to go back to that bit earlier because I was just thinking of uh, Rolling Stones puns the whole time. I wasn't listening. Yeah, I thought you were. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Jim, Pete, you could learn from Uh, that. Paint, shit, black. They were shit. Yeah, nah, sure. yeah. Um, that's a shame. <laughs> um, <laughs> Netherlands. Did you hear last uh, week, the, the last uh, episode of the football ramble? I endorsed it. Netherlands nil, Argentina nil. Give me Scherler. The Argentina. <laughs> that's good. That's yeah. good. That's good. Marcus and Jim's here. Um, All right, Pete's here. Stannis Baratheon. Um, but Luke, the lucky sod, isn't. He's uh, he's in he's in Greece. Yeah, he's in Greece. Of, he's not done for, anything for, silly he's for Lord Ramble's wedding. Yeah, he has. Mm. Yeah, um, I'm heading out wedding. tomorrow. <laughs> the red wedding. I'm going to make it the red wedding when I get out there. <laughs> Where's me fingers? Where? Don't very niche quotes. People might not understand. Everyone watches Game, Everyone of, Game of Thrones. Everyone who listens to this show has to be used to that. By now. I don't watch Game of Thrones. I've no idea. Yeah, it was football ramble. We're recording this at yeah, one. Just in... like the imp. <laughs> one in... Come on, stop this. You're not a tall man. Um, uh, England are pretty much out of the World Cup. This is not a time for laughter. <laughs> um, uh... It's exactly the time for laughter, Marcus <laughs> Miller. <laughs> All we have left. It's, it's a ten past. Sure, there's quite a lot. I mean, well, one of the things it's... I would say is sorry to cut in again is um, that winter is coming. No, um, <laughs> um, I have no idea what that yeah. means. Is that this World Cup? There you go. That's how you do it, boys. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Three points, lovely. Mm. Get lost. Yeah, <laughs> you know that's go, uh, off. You go up the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, uh, I'm not getting any of these. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you shore up your defence, then you create a platform for your forward players. So yeah. it's not always negative. But I, but I don't think James Milner is. Nez- it's how you use him. Yeah, mm. of course. I don't think James Milner is the knight in shining armour who could have got us through the, to the next round. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, ramble, uh, football ramble, football ramble, stop it, stop stop it. ramble, it's football game ramble. Of bleeding rubbish. <laughs> A game of rubbish. Yeah, what rubbish. a perfect, perfect title for this show, <laughs> given what has just happened. Oh, um, uh, what was I bloody saying, Milner? So um, Milner, Jamie <laughs> Milner. Stop it now, <laughs> Jamie Lannister. What? That's, it, that's enough. Um, uh, but when, right? That's it, isn't it? I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> that's it, isn't it? Pretty, that's uh, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, poor old England. Um, but uh, say goodbye, Pete. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Jim. Goodbye, my love. And it's goodbye from me, you beautiful bitches. <laughs> Hey guys, look what I just found on the system. <laughs> football ramble, football ramble, football ramble, don't football know, ramble, don't football, know. Ramble, football ramble, football ramble, football ramble, football ramble, football ramble. Oh, it's done, yeah. Oh, hello. Football ramble, 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 football Katie Dempsey, <laughs> rapping, 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 rapping. Um, something about banging G's. Banging G's. Alec.
song. He did a fire mental, wall, silly mental, silly mental, silly mental, 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 Do well, didn't do well, didn't do well, didn't do well. Fuck off England. 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 F